Tonight's video is going to be on the dealing with provocations from Cinghiali Porto di Ferro. Uh, the nice part about this section is that the response for the, the patient is always the same. It's always going to be a falso manco, this rising diagonal false edge cut from our left. And then depending on what our adversary does from there, we have a couple of options um, to, uh, to follow up with. So to start, the basic action of the agent is they are doing a thrust with their right foot, and then maybe it's a madrito, maybe it's a reverso, high or low. So assuming that is a madrito first, we have three angles that we're dealing with. A diagonal high cut, a cut to the leg, or a vertical cut to the head, so a fendente. So in every case, we're going to defend with our false edge. If the, in the first case, if they go to the inside with that diagonal mandrito, we're going to step across the line using the head guards, plural, position, trading, cutting to the leg with our own mandrito, and then leading with a spocata. If instead it is a mandrito to the leg, we have two options. If I'm ready for it, if I know exactly what's happening as it comes down, I simply strike the hand if it is available, but if they are attacking well, the hands should be separated, so it's, it should be there. So we defend, the hand comes low, strike with my own madrito and get out. If, however, I'm not quite as astute, not as ready for it, I may, I also have the option of defending, stepping around, trading the engagement to the buckler very briefly so I can do a reverso to their thigh and then get out with that stoccato. Finally, on the side, if I am doing a fendente to the head, so it's going to come in pretty much right up the center here. I can, if the hand is advanced past the buckler, I can strike it with a madrito and get out, or I can hit the sword, beat it to their outside, and set on my own attack. If instead it is a reverso, high or low, so essentially the attacker is doing this, when I beat, they come around with that triangle step, I can do one of two things. So if it's high, I'm actually going to suggest that we bend and throw a mandrito tondo, or a, what do you call it, a horizontal mandrito, to the hand, uh, the sword hand. But this is going to be to whatever is available. Uh, as we kind of saw in class, the left arm is actually exposed a bit. So that could be a good option for that. Uh, like we did in the previous play, I could strike the sword, set up my own action, my own follow-up action, and then go from there. And then finally, if we're dealing with a reverse to the leg, we're going to defend. As they go low, we're going to strike the arm with a reverse sol numero and get out back to guard. I did that with thrust, we can also do that as a mezzo mandrito. So we bend, strike the hand, and then come back to guard. So those are the six plays uh, from Cinghiale Porto di Ferro according to Manchurino. Next video is, next and final video in the series is Iron Gate.